Good morning, everybody. We've seen the first surgeries being performed in Hanover and Zurich, which was actually very interesting to see. Uh, we wouldn't be able to do this uh, transmission without the help of uh, some of the companies involved in manufacturing these devices. I like to state that we are, of course, absolutely independent of all the companies. Nonetheless, they do have important things to say. And for that cause, Niels van Drute came to, uh, to the studio and he's going to tell us about the devices that are uh, being made by Cochlear, at least some of the devices. Thank you for coming and uh, have a good presentation. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Professor Holman, for the opportunity to uh, present here today, this morning. And I'll um, give you a quick overview of uh, the Baja 5 system and also the um, recently introduced uh, Cochlear Carina system. Let's see if I can have my slides. Great. So just waiting for the slides to arrive. And there they are. Yes. So, um, so very well, um, welcome to, um, um, to Cochlear here today uh, in, uh, in Utrecht. It's, um, it's great to have the opportunity to present um, these, uh, these slides to you. So uh, my name is Niels van Ruten. I'm the general manager for, uh, for Cochlear Benelux. So this morning I'll uh, present to you the, the Baja 5 uh, solution. Uh, and it's an entire system, uh, basically starting from the Baja BI300 implant, uh, which is uh, the most uh, reliable implant in, uh, on the market uh, available today. Uh, and from that implant, you have the choice of, of two connection systems. One is the Baja Track system, which will be shown later on as well in the live surgery, um, and also the Baja Connect system with the Dermalock coating. Um, and then we have a non-surgical solution, which is the Baja Softband, uh, where all the different processes can be attached. Um, and then in this presentation, I'll also give a, an overview of the uh, total portfolio of the Baja 5 sound processors, uh, including the Baja 5 Power and the Baja 5 Superpower. Um, and all those uh, Baja 5 uh, processors are built on the same platform, and that means that they uh, can um, uh, use uh, similar, se several apps uh, and also the true wireless uh, accessories. And of course, these, uh, these processors are fitted with, with the Baja fitting so software. So if we start with the implant, the BI-300 implant, um, we uh, can see from, from a large multi-center study um, that uh, we have been able to show uh, an, a very strong primary stability with this implant due to the wider implant. It's 4.5 millimeters in diameter. And due to the tyroblast surface, uh, we have a very strong um, also secondary uh, stability over time. And as you can see here, this is five years data, so that's uh, already uh, um, quite a, a long, long time. You can see that we have um, uh, a higher implant stability uh, compared to the previous generation uh, implant. On top of that uh, implant, we, like I said, we can um, mount either the attract system or the dermalock system. And here you can see the, the attract system uh, with uh, the implant and then the, a very slim implant magnet, the BIM 400. Um, and then I think the beauty of, uh, of the system comes back in the Baja software pad. And that software pad is, is really unique because it um, provides the opportunity to spread um, the, the force across the um, across the magnet and therefore it also improves um, retention but also the sound transmission. And then uh, on top of that, um, that magnet, uh, we can of course uh, uh, connect the different sound processes available. Um, since its introduction in uh, August uh, 2013, we uh, in the meantime have more than uh, 8,000 uh, patients worldwide with this Baja Attract system. So it's the most implanted under the skin system available today. And then we also have the Dermalock um, uh, situation, Dermalock system. Uh, where we have an hydroxyapatite coating on to the side of the abutment, um, we have been able to, to produce that in order to see how can we integrate the soft tissue with the actual coating of, uh, of the abutment in order to, uh, to, to improve the clinical outcomes of, of the Baja system even further. Um, and as you can see on, um, on the left side, and this is data from Stockros from Maastricht, um, where you can see that a removed abutment um, shows uh, viable tissue attached to this hydroxyapatite coating and um, 
um, uh, suggesting that, that this uh, soft tissue is actually adhering to uh, the hydroxyapatite. And if you compare that on the right side with the titanium implant, uh, titanium abutment, sorry, um, then you see that there is actually no uh, soft tissue attached. So it doesn't really bind to the titanium surface. Um, why is that? Uh, why do we really want to um, develop it that way? Um, that's in order to reduce a, a, a pocket formation on the side of the abutment. Um, and in the meantime, we, um, we have various clinical studies showing uh, actually a reduction in numbness due to the uh, soft tissue preservation technique. Um, there's also faster wound healing in, uh, in these patients. And there's less neuropathic uh, pain. And of course, it has improved outcomes uh, with this, uh, this surgical technique and with this, um, uh, with this uh, um, coating. So um, as you can see on, on, in the graph, uh, over 93% actually have uh, um, no or, or less mild soft tissue reactions with, with the dermal lock system. Um, so further data is coming out uh, shortly to, to, to further support uh, um, uh, the technology behind this, this Dermalock and to see how this uh, soft tissue is actually integrating with, with the Dermalock uh, hydroxyapatite structure. So then moving from, from the implants to the sound processor portfolio, and as you can see, we've now got a, a full um, portfolio with, uh, with various uh, devices, uh, ranging from the small Baja 5 uh, processor to the, the, the Baja 5 Power and the Baja 5 Super Power. Um, we, um, all these processors are built on the same platform, so that means that they are all um, compatible with, uh, with made for iPhone, they're all compatible with the various uh, streaming devices, true wireless streaming devices. Um, and of course, we are able to um, to really go into the, um, the higher levels of, of mixed hearing loss. Um, as you can see here, the, the smallest Baja 5 uh, processor, the smallest one in the industry as well, um, goes up to 45 dB sensory neural hearing loss. And then um, the 5 power goes up to 55 dB sensory neural hearing loss. Um, slightly bigger and also with, uh, with a volume uh, control on the side. And then, as you can see here, um, including a, a rechargeable battery, uh, we have the, the Baja 5 superpower, and it goes up to 65 uh, decibels. Like I said, all these devices are built on, on the same platform. That means that, they, um, uh, that we can uh, directly stream from, from iPhone devices directly into the hearing aid. Uh, so that uh, is actually without further accessories needed. Um, so that's a big advantage for uh, for the ease of use for these patients to live a, a full life, and that's that's really what we're trying to to aim at at cochlear. Um, and as you can see, uh, also um, things like same time, for example, and FaceTime uh, are um, are very easy to use um, uh, with these devices. And also music can be streamed directly to this device. We continue to uh, to build. Um, uh, apps uh, and smart apps, as we call them, uh, because they are fully integrated with, with the processor, um, functioning as, a, let's say, a, a remote control. Um, uh, but we can also uh, track and trace the, the data logging uh, data. Um, you can find your, uh, uh, your um, uh, sound processor when it gets lost. Um, and you can also, for example, link specific programs to your actual location due to these smart apps. And we will continue to, to further develop these type of, uh, of apps. The speech understanding uh, with these new uh, Baja 5 uh, sound processors is very good. Uh, as you can see here in, in the rating, um, all the processors are rate scored um, 4.3 or higher. Uh, so that means that, uh, that the um, patients who use these devices are very uh, um, uh, satisfied with, with the sound quality and the speech understanding of, uh, of these devices. And then finally, um, 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 from moving from, from the Baja system to the Cochlear Carina system, uh, as you can see here, we, um, um, we have con uh, continued to develop the, uh, the Carina system. Um, the Carina system is, is a fully implantable uh, middle ear implant, uh, which is invisible. It's very simple to use, uh, and it's also extremely powerful. 
so um, just a few slides on, on, on the Carina system to, to give you an idea of uh, where we are uh, at uh, at the moment. So as you can see, um, this is really full 100% uh, uh, invisible hearing, and that gives you a unique opportunity with, with a totally implantable solution um, to, to have the, the, the freedom to hear in the way you want. Um, so there are no external devices, everything is implanted, including the microphone and the battery. So um, that means that you basically can't lose anything, uh, you can't forget your processor, you can't drop it, um, and can't get wet. So you can, for example, just swim with this device. Um, what's the fitting range? Uh, as you can see, uh, if you look at it uh, from a pure uh, sensor neural hearing loss perspective, um, then we go up to uh, around 70 dB. Um, and the Carina system has the possibility to also put an external uh, processor on top. So that makes, uh, makes the system even more powerful. Uh, and then it goes up to, uh, to 85, uh, 90 dB. Um, when we go into uh, to mixed hearing losses, again, same uh, model applies, where we have around 70 dB um, um, hearing loss that we can um, cover. And again, with, with the external uh, microphone and the external uh, button processor, it's possible to, to make the, the device even, even more powerful. So that gives you an idea in the fitting ranges of, of this device. Um, and also the flexibility with this device uh, that you have a totally implantable solution. Uh, but when you need that uh, additional um, power, for example, uh, or when the, the hearing condition is, is getting um, uh, more difficult, then, uh, then you have uh, the, the option to, uh, to use the button processor uh, for further power. Um, and then my uh, my last slide here, you can um, see that we've uh, that also the uh, the AFAP, the uh, uh, abbreviated profile of hearing aid benefit uh, questionnaire, is uh, is showing good outcomes for the Carina system when you compare it to a uh, a conventional hearing aid, and uh, and you can see that across uh, all areas of the AFAP, you see that um, uh, that we show improvements, and those improvements are not only happening after three months but they stay uh, solid uh, and stable over time. So that's uh, what you can clearly see here in this, uh, in this graph. So with that, um, I've hope, I hope that I've given you a good overview of, um, of the Baja 5 uh, systems, um, including also the, um, the, the Cochlear Carina system, and, um, and that uh, gives uh, hopefully a good overview of, um, of the status quo of, uh, of where we are with, with the Baja system uh, today in, in 2016, where uh, we've made significant improvements in, in the technological advancements uh, with regards to Baja, and uh, that comes back into the clinical outcomes of, uh, of your patients. So thank you very much for the opportunity, and um, I wish you a very good um, continuation of the Lion Symposium. Thank you very much. So thank you very much for that uh, fascinating presentation.